Do you realize just how much of a hero that you are? Right, y'all? Okay. Like, how do you see it? Jennifer, ah, uh, listen, uh, what's in Kitchen is not me. It's mm. not I, the person. Has never been. Mm. Uh, what's in Kitchen is we, the people. Right now, as you and I were talking, yes. is what's in Kitchen teams, hundreds with thousands of volunteers in places like Gaza and Egypt and Lebanon and Jordan and Ukraine <laughs> and Morocco and Acapulco. World Sandra Kitchen is an organization of the many. We, the people coming together, where in the worst moments of humanity, the, where the best of humanity shows up. That's World Sandra Kitchen. That is so beautiful. Like, I love how you called it by name. That means your heart is truly in it, whether you, you, know, you say it or not. You served over 300 million meals to people in need. That, how does that feel? Well, you know what happened? That in emergencies, everything breaks down. Right. Uh, I use, came back uh, from Acapulco, uh, where this Category 5 hurricane has mm -hmm. decimated an entire city. And what World Central Kitchen did was not only arriving there to help, is that the locals join us and they help us. We make them better, but they made us better. Again, I repeat, we, the people, building longer tables. So for me, what gives me joy is that we always come together. I love it. And in the worst moments, we always seem to find who can help, who can cook, where is the food, where are the restaurants, and more important, where is the people that are forgotten right. and we show up in their communities to tell them, you are not alone, we're gonna be next to you. Like, where did this desire come from to do this? My mom was a nurse. Uh -huh. A working mom. Yes. Which is a full-time job on its own. Yes, it is. Three brothers and I. Mm. And my father was a nurse, too. And I think they planted the seed on me and saying, I am a cook. I became a cook. My mom taught me how to cook. My father taught me how to cook. They sent me to cook in a school. But... In the way, I learned that my profession, cooking in restaurants, is about feeding the few. Mm -hmm. But I learned that we all have the talent, yes. not only to do whatever we do for the few, but also to feed the many. The many. We all have that power. We all, and you're a great example of that. Okay, it, it, this is so beautiful, I, I love it. You have such a great heart, you know? and it, it just shows and it's pouring out too many, you know? Like, well, this is the gift that keeps on giving. I don't know much about Spanish or how to speak it, but I heard you could show me how to pronounce R in Spanish. As I say R. But you know, you and I, we may be having a lot of things in common, we don't know. What we got in common? Because I have a lot of issues with R too. Okay. Like it's rim. It's rim. Who, who, who was the guy? Because this had to be a man, because men, we all come with the bad ideas. <laughs> Couldn't be a woman. Who puts an S, an H, and an R together? Who, child, who? Sh shrimp. How the heck you pronounce shrimp. shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp. Thank you. I mean, you, I mean, when I tell people shrimp is my favorite dish, what do you say, sir? <laughs> do we need to bring a translator? <laughs> so, so I understand, R is difficult. Yes. I prefer R in Spain. Uh, ah. Catedral. Cathedral. Catedral. 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 You rolled the wound. Yeah, but, but anyway, nothing is more difficult than this rim, and I am asking for whoever speaks in English to come up with a word that is no rim with an S, an H, and an R. I prefer call it camarón, like camarón. In Mexico. Camarón. Camarón. No a big car. Viva camarón. Yeah, what did he say? Yes. I, I, I love it. You want me to try it? Let me say it again. Catedral. Oh, catedral. Okay. Was that close? You say catedral, I say shrimp. Oh my God, you and I. Yeah. We 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 not doing good. Huh? No, but you know one thing what? about you know one thing. You know what I say. <laughs> you know when you are in the kitchen and things don't go as you plan. <laughs> something goes wrong. You cannot pronounce. Mm -mm. Everything is going down. Yes. 
when something in your life, when the recipe is not going as you are planning, uh -huh. change the name of the recipe. Change the name. What the heck? How about that? So whatever, Jennifer, yeah. whatever you pronounce they okay. are in Spanish, yes. I don't care. It's the way I like it. Oh, that, so that. it's never the wrong way if you are pronouncing I it. I like that. Just Boom. Say that. Change the name. Oh. Change the pronunciation. Perro. Perro. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.